Hi, I'm Marie Planchard here at SolidWorks. Today we're going to talk about a plate in steady state. I used the surface feature to model this plate in SolidWorks, and I want to compare this plate with the NAFEMS of a thermal analysis of a plate in steady state. For the first example, I will put a temperature source on one side of my plate. The other three sides, the temperature will be zero degrees Celsius. In the second example, I'm going to stick a heat source right in the middle of the plate and then review temperature distribution. Let's see how we'll use finite element analysis in SolidWorks to calculate the thermal properties of a plate in steady state. To begin, select Tools, Add-ins. The thermal analysis is located under SolidWorks Simulation. Check SolidWorks Simulation, click OK. Select Help, SolidWorks Simulation, Validation, NAFEMS Benchmarks. There is linear, static, nonlinear, thermal, natural frequency, force vibration, and composites tutorials. Today, we're going to concentrate on thermal analysis. Select on thermal, select on steady state temperature distribution of a plate. In the problem, there are two examples. First, there is a constant temperature on the left hand side with all three remaining edges at zero degrees. Second, there is another study where heat is generated at the center of the plate. Let's open up the part. The part was made with a single surface plane feature. Select Options, select Document Properties, Units. Modify the units to millimeter gram seconds if required. Double click on the plate to modify the dimension from let's say 600 to 800. In this case, I will keep the dimensions the same as presented in the problem. Once the dimensions have been set, you can add construction geometry to help you locate key sensors that you want to use inside the plate. Select on Study 1. Study 1 has been set up for you. Right click on Temperature 1 to show the left edge at 1000 degrees C. Right click on Temperature 2 to show the other edges at 0. Right click on Mesh and select Mesh and Run to run the analysis. I did not speed up this video. By utilizing shell features, the results are quick and easily determined. Right click Edit the Definition and change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Initially, I could set up these problems to be in millimeters Celsius, the SI units. I can also change from the inch-pound second system to the SI system. The probe tool is available for you to select a particular area on the plate that will calculate the temperature at a location. You also can use specific points. If I select on my sensor located at point 4, I get a value of 260.5 degrees Celsius. This is exactly the value that the NAFEMS benchmarks calculated. In the second study, I use heat distribution. Heat power must be calculated from the fact that the heat generation given in the problem is 10 e to the sixth watts per meter cubed. I need to multiply it by the volume of the plate using a 0.1 meter thin shell formation the volume of my plate is 0.6 meters by 0.4 meters by 0.1 meters this is the volume that i measure to get a per item heat power source of 24000 watts again for study 2 mesh and run the analysis in real time I will generate the results showing heat distribution to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, edit the definition, and select on Celsius. Click the green check mark. Now at the center I have a temperature of 310 degrees Celsius. 
exactly what the NAFEMS benchmarks calculated. If I want to change the dimensions of the plate, all I need to do is double-click on the plate surface and modify the dimensions. SOLIDWORKS makes it easy with one user interface to work in the analysis and in the model. Don't forget to use the wow factor with ISO clippings. ISO clipping shows you how the heat source will affect temperature distribution in the plate. All you need to do is slide the bar from left to right to see the results. Your students love it. I know mine did.